Hey everybody, this is Dan Collins of the CUNY Kingsborough Math and Computing Department. And I have a video today, it might be very, very short, a very simple little um, uh, option that you have in your Blackboard modules. But I think there's a key suggestion in here. So hopefully this might pay benefits throughout your semester. Uh, you can, when you're in a Blackboard module, you can delete menu items on that left-hand toolbar that you and your students use. Uh, let's talk about why you want to do that. Um, the CUNY Blackboard default shell has a really long list of tools on that left-hand toolbar, a whole big long list of buttons, and you probably don't use half of them. Uh, it's really not great user interface design, to be perfectly frank. I think that what CUNY has done, what the Blackboard administrators have done, is they've thrown in everything they can possibly think that they kind of would suggest somebody maybe using, but we know you don't use all of those things, and they're just taking up space and um, mental energy to parse for you and your students. It's really, it's really just a whole bunch of visual clutter at this point. It's quite likely to confuse your students trying to navigate that, honestly, trying to navigate your course and find your materials. It might confuse you. I mean, every time you see it, you have to spend a couple brain cycles um, uh, thinking about which, which item you're going to. And so cleaning up that menu to just the items that you actually use in your course uh, I think is going to provide clarity and efficiency for your students and as well as you every single day that you're interacting with this, particularly in the entirely online teaching environment that we are here in uh, calendar 2020. Very simple. I mean, it's just a couple of steps. Let's just look at it. Just, I'll give you an overview right now. Um, this is basically what you're going to be dealing with right here. Uh, in your menu, if there is a tool that you want to get rid of, uh, that you, because you don't ever use it. Um, you will click on that drop down arrow to the right of it. You'll get a menu here with three or four options. One of them is delete. You click on that. There's two pop-ups. They, they, they kind of want to make sure that you're doing the right thing. So you get a first pop-up that says really delete and then you get a third pop-up that says are you absolutely sure and you, you confirm to both of those things and then the thing's just gone. No problem. You know what? If you accidentally delete something and you want it back, you can totally get it back with this plus addition uh, icon up here on the left. So it's really not, not a risky thing. And I would recommend that it's probably a good idea for you to clean up the menu bar for your class uh, to be as efficient and clear to your students as well as yourself as possible. This is actually the first thing I do whenever I um, get a new Blackboard module for a new course in semester. I actually go through, takes a couple of minutes, but I actually clean up the menu bar to just solely the items that I use and depending on the semester, I might just only have four or five or six buttons on the menu. That's it. All right. So basically, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to walk through. So if you need to see every move that I make here, I'll walk through the actual process right now. Um, here I am looking at an old course module that I didn't actually use because I did a course merge with it. Um, this is a course from 2017 in the original state that it comes when the CUNY administrators set it up. And again, looking over here on the left-hand side at the menu bar that your students use to navigate, there's a whole, my goodness, this is so long. You know, a bar like this, there ought to only be about seven items max, uh, I think, uh, from psychological principles uh, to be easy to parse for people. This is just far, far too long. Um, I think when I teach the course, I mean, I don't even use the home page. I, I would use course information. I'd use course content. Um, I keep the C my grades and there's nothing else down here that I actually use. So this is all just wasted space and energy, frankly. So I'm going to get rid of some of these things. Uh, I'll start at the bottom here. There's this turn it in tool, uh, which I guess is nice for English classes or history classes. I bet none of us in a math class use this probably. I don't, I don't need that. So I will go to the left hand arrow. I will click down. I'll hit delete. Right. And again, here I get the pop up. It says now you could have you could have hidden it instead. Are you sure about that? Yes, I want to delete it. And remember, this will permanently delete it from the content area. That's what I want. So now the turn it in is gone. Great. I don't use uh, this other. I don't use Blackboard Help for me. I, I feel like students know Blackboard Help enough. You they can get to Blackboard Help if they need it from the main page. You don't need any of this stuff at the bottom. So let me just go through that a couple more times. Now, if I look carefully at this menu here, you know, there is an option for hide link. 
And uh, frankly, that would actually just be a one-step click. Um, that would actually would hide the item for your students, but you would still see it as the instructor. Um, I actually kind of get a little bit irritated by this giant list of buttons myself. I don't know about you. Maybe I'm hypersensitive. Uh, but if I hide it, and then, but I'm from the students, but I'm still looking at it, that doesn't do me any good. So I actually want to delete it so I don't see it. Uh, hide it if you want, um, but I think it's better for, for the instructor's purpose to actually delete it. So delete it. And again, um, they kind of want to try to convince you to hide it instead. You don't need to do that. I want to delete it. I want to delete it. So there's my, my three clicks that I have to go through to get rid of that. Um, I'll do it one more time. I don't need the instructor blackboard help. I can get that from other means. Delete it. Yep. Delete it. Yep. Delete it. Okay. I, I wish that was a, a, a more clear cut process, but anyway, it takes three steps. That's fine. It's gone. You only do this once per module per semester. So maybe it takes you 10 minutes to clean up everything you need here. So I would get rid of this and this and this and this and this and just the things that I absolutely want. Now to be really, really clear again, uh, they kind of make it seem like this is a risky process, but it's not. Hypothetically, if you deleted something by mistake and you needed it back, you can get it back. And I'll just walk through that just very quickly right here. That's this plus icon up on the top left of the menu. You can add additional buttons of your design. If you click on content area, you just get an empty folder. And in fact, I'll point out right here that all these buttons, these little boxes here indicate an empty folder, right? A content area that you can upload things to, but are, it's currently totally empty. So anything, once you set up your module for your, for, your, for your own purposes, and one of these things still has one of these white boxes next to it, that's clearly a signal you ought to get rid of it. Um, so again, you do, if you want to add a folder, you click on the plus, you click on content area, um, and you'll be creating a new empty folder like that that you can put stuff in. But if there's one of the exotic tools that you want back, then you'd go down to tool link, click that, you'd get another menu here, right? Here's another drop down right here. And if you wanted to add the blogs or the email because you deleted that, or you want to use the groups feature or journaling or Kingsborough Yuja, whatever that is, um, you could, you could re-add that through this menu, uh, give it, a name, you want to click available to users so that your students actually see it. I think the other day I had one instructor add a content area, didn't know about this check checkbox so he could see the folder, but his students couldn't. Okay, so anytime you do this, you're going to want to check that. Uh, and then you would hit, once you give it a name, you would get submit. I don't actually want to do that. I mean, my whole purpose right now is to get rid of stuff, so I'll just hit cancel to this. But my point is, if you do accidentally delete something that was important, you can get it back. It's not... It's not that bad. So basically that's it. So uh, very first thing I do when I get a new Blackboard module is I go through and delete all the menu items that I am not gonna use so that I keep my students focused so I don't personally get irritated by this large list of junk that has been put into the default module that we don't really need. So uh, we're, math, uh, we're math instructors. We should focus on efficiency and clarity and maybe the very first thing you do with your Blackboard module is just get rid of all the junk you're not going to use and you'll be happier and your students will probably be happier and everything will be running a little bit more efficiently. So that's an idea uh, at your option. You can do that or not if you like. Uh, I do hope that helps you here as we go into the fall 2020 semester and make things a little bit easier for you and your students. Uh, best of luck this semester. If you have other questions, feel free to ping me on the Kingsborough email system and I'll talk to you soon.